person showing you this video can provide you with a question sheet titled, Is This Job For You? It covers important things you need to consider before completing an application. On behalf of the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, thank you for your interest in working with us. Please do not hesitate to ask our management professionals to answer any questions you might have after seeing this video. Best of luck, and thanks for stopping by. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company Incorporated is dedicated to a policy of... John Paul Bessong heads up Lean Electronics, the Six Sigma Lean program at Rockwell Collins. Some service companies have avoided Six Sigma and Lean because they see it either as a manufacturing initiative or just another quality program. What's your reaction to oh, that? Oh, I think they're missing a tremendous opportunity. How do employees react to Six Sigma and what benefits do they see for themselves at Telefonica? We have encountered many cases of disbelief with much resistance, but we've also encountered a lot of enthusiasm, wonderful participation from people around the program. Janet, you visited Rockwell Collins and you spoke with CEO Clay Jones. What key points can Unisys learn from their Six Sigma Lean experience? First of all, it was, it was great to be there. Um, there were two things that struck me. It really gives everyone a chance to work together, regardless of where they are in the world, to track what they're doing and stay connected. And any time of the day or night, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's open the discussion up a little bit. If Andy is willing to try banking, I don't see why not. But Cheryl, it, it's going to cost over $1,000, and Dr. Chang said that only one out of ten men ever go back and use their samples. Dad, it's like having car insurance. What if I meet a hot girl when I'm 25 and she doesn't want to be with me because I can't have kids? Besides, I want to see those videos at the sperm bank. At, at least I'll get something out of this whole thing. <laughs> I can't wait to see that girl you pick out when you're 25. Yeah, well, we're going to have to see about some of these videos. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet you want to preview them so you can make sure they're okay for me to see, right? <laughs> Listen, Jason, I want to thank you for coming out today and discussing all this with us. I know it was really personal. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Now, do you have a picture of your little girl? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, how cute. Oh, her. Herb, there are some charges on our credit card statement that I didn't make, and I don't think you did. Did you ever buy something for $10,000 at Tiffany's? $10,000? No, Jane, no. I mean, what, what's going on there? Is, uh, you sure that's our statement? I'm looking right at it. It's our statement. No, it can't be. Not for $10,000. And, and not there. to ask you about my credit card bill. Um, this came in the mail yesterday and there's some charges there that I don't recognize. My husband says he didn't make them either, so I'd like to get it straightened out. It's a very good thing that you acted so quickly on this. If these are just errors, we can fix them right away. But this also might be a sign that someone has stolen your identity. If so, it's important that we act as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, I never even thought of that. How awful. I have no idea what to do. There are several things that you should do right away. First, let me give you this information packet on identity theft. It has information about what you should do, including phone numbers, websites for help, and the forms that you need. But before you leave, I'd like you to sit with our branch manager and discuss the problem. You might want to put an identity theft flag on your accounts with us. She can explain how to do that and answer all your questions. Thank you. This is sort of overwhelming. Yes, it can be, but please know we are here to help you. We all want identity theft to stop, and we certainly don't want you to be hurt by it. Thank you. Goodbye. Leasing plays a major role in ICON, and we are responsible for a considerable number of critical functions and activities. Under the new system, we are benefiting from the simplification and streamlining of many of these processes, as well as the addition of improved resources that support our functions. For example, the expertise of iOS Capital is now supporting the credit and collections functions. We now have online capabilities for credit approval, bids and proposal lease pricing, as well as online document preparation. Instead of keying transaction data twice, with Oracle, we key it only once. 
Cost per copy invoicing has improved due to more timely and accurate meter reads. Changes like these are significant and welcome improvements in leasing. American Medicine Today has honed its skills and technology to the point where even many of the sickest and most badly hurt patients can be saved. But what happens next for patients like this? Still in early stage recovery, they're not ready to go home. Nursing homes and rehab centers usually can't meet their complex needs, and conventional hospitals don't have the rehabilitation resources they need. One answer to this tough problem is the Long-Term Acute Care Hospital, or LTAC, also known as a specialty hospital. You probably already know that your wet-dry vacuum can pick up fine dust, like drywall dust. The question is, what happens to the dust after it's picked up? Now, most shotguns are equipped with a safety. A safety prevents a shotgun from firing. When the safety is on, as this one is, the shotgun should not be able to fire. When it's off, the shotgun is ready to fire. The safety is located in different places on different shotguns. Be sure to know the location of the safety on your shotgun and how it works. There are two types of safeties on shotguns. They are located in different places. The cross bolt is located here near the trigger guard. The tang safety is located here on the receiver. Remember that safeties are mechanical devices and they can fail. Shotguns generally have a small round bead on top of the barrel near the muzzle. Your eye acts as the rear sight and the bead is the front sight. That is all you need when using a shotgun to hunt waterfowl, upland birds, or rabbits. Unlike rifles, shotguns are pointed, not aimed, because they are generally used for shooting at moving targets. The only time to use sights on a shotgun is when it is used to hunt non-moving targets, such as deer or sometimes turkey.